Hey guys, let's do this together. Uh, pressure control mode of ventilation. Uh, pressure is set at 18 centimeter of water above the PEEP level of 10 centimeter of water. Pressure over time, flow over time, volume over time, and internal CO2 monitor. Let's start with this breath, initiation of inspiration. Pressure goes up to 18 centimeter above the PEEP level. Pressure is maintained for the duration of inspiration. Inspiratory flow goes up to 30 liters per minute and then decelerates. As a result of this inspiratory flow, the volume goes up to the tidal volume around 230 ml. Expiration starts here, pressure goes down to the peep level of 10 cm of water. The flow becomes expiratory. Notice a decrease in the peak expiratory flow. And then the expiratory flow is not that steep. And then there's persistent flow at end of expiration. Notice the inspiratory, the area under the curve in inspiration compared to the area under the curve in expiration. This one is larger than this one. Let's correlate this with the volume. Expiratory expiration starts here. Volume goes down. However, at end of expiration, the lung is not completely emptied. The volume goes down to zero because the machine will recalibrate before the next breath. Now take a look on the CO2 monitor. Compare this breath with the initial breath here, where the CO2 rises initially rapidly and then slowly to the peak level or end tidal level. And then inspiration starts. Compare this with this rise here. You can see a very slow rise in the CO2 level. And then the end tidal CO2 is the same. This is what we call the shark fin waveform that indicates along with this limitation in the flow and the persistent flow at the end of expiration with this web here altogether indicates that there is severe obstruction in the airways. In this patient, what happened is there were lots of secretions blocking the endotracheal tube. You can see that inside the tube here, this tube was changed and everything has resolved. Thank you.